Yeah, hi there, my name is Nigel Parkinson from Tonic Consulting. I'm uh, Michael Morgan with Hab Construction. And we're here delivering Tauranga City Council's Timonga Landward Outfall Pipeline Project. The Timonga Landward Outfall Project is, is replacing the old outfall, which is a bit dated and under capacity, um, with a new 1200 millimetre diameter PE line. There's approximately two kilometres of 1200 PE and then a section of 710. Um, running from the UV treatment plant all the way out to Maranui Road and to a termination point of the beach manhole. Um, today we're slip lining the PE pipe through an existing concrete duct which runs under the Tauranga Eastern Link. It's one of the critical activities for the job and should be finished by the end of today. Um, I'll let Mike explain to you some of the details about what's going on in the pipe. So we've, um, we've put in a trench uh, using sheet pails. Um, now we've got a uh, a couple of diggers here pulling the pipe with a drill rig on the other side. Um, it's been a slow and steady process, pretty challenging to get right, but yeah, a lot of planning has uh, paid off so far. Um, the pipe itself gets covered with these uh, spacers um, so that it can support the pipe through the concrete duct. One of the most challenging parts of this job um, has been working around the existing pipeline. Um, we've got several tie-ins to the existing main and have, have a lot of constraints mainly involved in keeping shutdowns to a minimum um, and maintaining the existing pipeline. Yeah, there's been a lot of coordination with TCC planning all these tie-ins and we, we're limited with how much time we can have the, the system offline before we have to re liven the lines to keep continuity of flow. So one, that's one of our big challenges and the second one is proximity to residents. Um, we're installing a big pipeline within in some cases less than 10 metres from residential properties. So trying to mitigate or minimise impact on the residents has been a real challenge. Um, we've put in noise monitoring, we've put in noise barrier walls, and we're constantly looking at ways to try and minimise our impact on the residents as we work through quite a, quite a narrow easement and corridor to deliver the project. To date, we're happy to say that we haven't actually exceeded any of the tolerances or alert levels. Um, and that's involved sheet piling as well as this installation that's going on behind us at the moment with multiple diggers, generators, dewatering and the like just to get the job done. So once this um, installation behind us is finished, it moves more to an open trench operation all the way through to the beach and the expected completion is mid-2022.